very excited to open this. So I got the Rode Video Mic Go To. I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, there we go. Ta da! It's the size of my hand. And my hands are tiny, super lightweight. I would imagine that you want a light mic, right? This is me talking normally without the mic. And this is me talking with the mic on. Like, I feel so pro. But in all actuality, I will not be able to tell the difference until I edit this. So I'm hoping there's a difference. Whoa! How does everyone else vlog with a big old camera and a mic? I feel so self-conscious with my camera already. And now with a bigger lens and a mic on top. It's really obvious. It's a whole thing going on. I don't know. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. Maybe I just need to do it and not worry. So productive this morning. I have baked two things. One of them being matcha banana bread. Oh, it smells so good. I don't know how it tastes, but it looks good at least. And my matcha latte, because you can never have too much matcha in your life. Taste test. Let's see. It's good banana bread. It's more banana y than matcha y, but that's fine because. Also, I just want to say that I cut even more of my hair off again. <laughs> I can't stop myself. If you missed it, I basically had a video where I cut my hair all by myself because it was really, really damaged and I just needed to get rid of all the split ends. This is the worst. There's one thing I've learned. It's that I kind of don't want to bleach my hair again. It's really hard. It's really expensive. It's probably not worth it if you're not really that much of a high maintenance person. I'm realizing that I'm coming more into my low maintenance era. I just don't want that anymore. I, I've gotten to the point where even blow drying my hair is a bit of a mission. Only recently have I just realized how important hair is to me. I never really used to care about it as much. So that's another goal of mine this year to have Nice, lovely, healthy hair that isn't breaking. Today just keeps getting better because my phone is here. This is actually my second refurbished one uh, because the first one that they sent was scratched up. It wasn't the condition that it was described as. I bought the very good condition, which says you might have marks around the body, but the screen should be pristine. And the screen was not pristine. There's a few marks on the body, but I don't really care because it's going to be in a case. The main thing for me was having a screen that wasn't damaged. I haven't been on iPhone for about eight years now, so it's nice to be back. I could happily have this phone for the next five years and I think I would be absolutely fine with it. Anyways, I want to get her set up because I've been waiting for her for so long. Let's set her up together.
I hope you are doing well. I need your real opinions. What do you think of the white hair? Because I am really torn between dyeing it or just embracing it. Most of my siblings, their hair is pretty much all white. And I'm only in my early 30s. I know society wants to make women, you know, feel bad about themselves. Like we always have to present the best version of ourselves. Part of me kind of wants to break that. So what if women get white hair? I can't always just keep dyeing my hair because for one, money and two, I just can't be bothered. Far too lazy. I got completely distracted about what I wanted to talk about in the first place, which was matcha. I don't know what I was expecting, but I didn't really expect it to be a tiny box. That was probably me not managing my expectations. From what I can gather, it's basically balanced and highly recommended for matcha lattes. And according to the website, it's bright green colour makes for a very photogenic beverage. night and day. I don't know how to describe it other than it tastes very creamy and nutty. This is so much better than even going out to like a cafe in London and getting it. If anybody has any more recommendations, please let me know because wow, my mind is blown right now. Blown. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so, so much. The fact that you even chose to watch my video is amazing and I want to thank you for that. For those who have seen my videos before, I'm really sorry that I haven't been posting regularly. I have just been doing loads of things behind the scenes. Life has sort of gotten in the way. I've got like a whole backlog of videos that I need to edit. There's been a bit of a change in life. Um, not a big one. It's just... Um, exciting times ahead basically but it's basically been taking all my attention and concentration and time so unfortunately editing sort of fell by the wayside a little bit but I'm hoping that I'm getting it under control now and I have more time to edit so there's been loads of things that I want to share with everyone it kind of feels like the next chapter in my life um a bit scary to say that out loud because I've sort of been keeping it inside my head but yeah it's gonna be fun I think and I hope you'll join me for the ride I just want to say thank you again for choosing to watch me it means the world to me and I hope you enjoy so I'll catch you later bye